Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. So when should you stop trading, whether you are a new trader and maybe just getting started, or you have lots of experience, it's a very wise question to always be wondering, should I stop trading? Is it smart for me to continue to be trading? And I want you to know right up front that what I'm gonna be talking about here is a very, very valuable lesson that I've learned and that you need to keep in mind. But none of this is being based on theory. I get it, we've all been to school, we've all had textbooks where you know you have that bolded word and then you have the definition and all that. And I'm not gonna say that school and textbooks is totally worthless, but in many situations, all that stuff is just theory. But in this situation, I want you to know that I will be using a real world example that really happened to me so that you have a, a very realistic baseline of how this can work and what you need to be aware of within the world of trading. And this pertains to day trading or swing trading or investing. I mean, you could be trading stocks, options, forex, futures, cryptocurrency. It, it's all one and the same when it comes to human psychology. And that's what this is really all about. Just how tricky the human mind can be and why it's very important for you to understand what I like to call the golden rule out there for all of us as traders. So like I was saying, this is not based on theory. This was all based on an alert that I made in the private community that I offer. And the alert was on ticker symbol BYND. And you can see right there, just made the comment that a certain chart, which you see right there, was looking top heavy. Top heavy just meaning, you know what, it's looking like this thing might be wanting to you know, come back down in price. And if you're new to the, the world of trading, there is actually a way to make money when prices come down. It's a very bizarre concept, I get it if you're just brand new, but yes, in the world of trading, when prices go down, you can stake money, you can make money. That's known as going short, shorting, being short. Those are all one and the same, but at the core, going short or being short or shorting, they just mean make money when prices go down. And that's what I thought was gonna happen potentially right here because as I noted right there and as I alerted members to our community, hey, it's looking like this one is getting pretty top heavy. Now the golden rule is all about self-awareness in many different ways. Of course, you could apply this to life in general, but especially as traders, and I love this quote, I know I've used it before, but it's, it's truly beautiful in the sense of what we need to be very, very aware of as a trader. And once again, whether that be a day trader or swing trader, self-awareness is our capacity to stand apart from ourselves and examine our thinking, our motives, our history, our scripts, our actions, and our habits and tendencies. So that's what the golden rule is all about. And in this situation, it's should I be trading? Should I stop trading? So how did all this work out? Well, again, setting the context, there is my alert. And you can see that ultimately, those are my results from it. But here's the thing, that's what ultimately played out after I made that alert to the room. Now, I realize you may have not, might not be familiar with totally uh, you know, technical charts, but right there was 133.75, and I point that out because that was my exit. That's where I exited the trade and took myself you know, just out of the trade. And then that happened, meaning the price fell all the way down to $118.50. Once again, as a reminder, that is good. If you're brand new, you'd be thinking, oh good, well you got out before the price fell. No, in this situation, I was shorting, meaning I wanted to see the price go down. And yeah, down it went in the amount of $15.25, and this all happened in literally, basically, 15 minutes, give or take 15, 20 minutes, the price went down $15.25 per share. That is a crazy drop in a very small amount of time. So I had 1,000 shares, and I offer that up because as a little bit of context, meaning I had 1,000 shares, I had the opportunity at $15,250 in profit. Let me say that again, I had the opportunity at $15,250 in profit, but instead I made right there $558. So could have made $15,250, I made 558. I don't wanna come across like a greedy savage, I don't wanna come across as ungrateful, but at least in my mind, the way my emotions work, when I compare $15,250 versus 558, my emotions uh, were perfectly summarized in any of these situations. I was quite 
angry, quite frustrated, had a big sense of regret, regret. not because I made any wrong choice or not because I, I, I did anything wrong, I just chose the wrong strategy to use. Now you can say, well, so you did do something wrong. Yes, that is true, but it's not like I broke any rules of the strategy that I was using. I have multiple strategies, and in this situation, I just chose to use the wrong strategy. So I mean, making $558 in a small amount of time, I mean, that, that, that's good money, don't get me wrong. But had I chosen another strategy, I'm not saying I would have played it perfectly and made $15,250, but I mean, let's say I screwed up half the other strategy. That's still right around $7,500. And again, like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, $7,500. So what I was mad about was not the fact, oh, I broke a rule and it cost, no, that's not what I was mad about. I was just simply upset that I chose the wrong strategy. Now, of course, hindsight is 2020, but that doesn't take away from the fact that those, you know, that is what my emotions were, <laughs> were perfectly summarized just like that. So let's go back to this. And the key thing here, the golden rule of self awareness. And for me in this situation, my self awareness came in the sense of understanding my own habits and my own tendencies. And through my history, and maybe you can relate, um, if you're brand new and just getting started, this is something that you're gonna wanna start to kind of document, whether that's through a trading journal or just kind of remember it is, when you get in certain situations, what, are, what kind of habits occur? What do you tend to do? Hence, what are your tendencies? And for me, I discovered that in these situations where even if I make money, even if I haven't done anything wrong in the sense of breaking rules of a strategy or you know being undisciplined or anything in like, like that, but just simply, ah, I chose the wrong strategy. I chose the wrong approach to this. To me, because of all these emotions, my rule is, you know what? Walk away and you're done for the day. So in other words, Clay, you need to stop trading. You are done for the day. And I basically had to put myself in time out, saying, Clay, you are no longer in any sort of mental capacity, so just walk away and be done for the day because I know what my habits are. I know what my tendencies are. I am just not mentally suitable anymore. I'm not mentally capable to trade in a rational way because I was so upset, so frustrated that just the urge of wanting to go out there and force a trade or, I mean, think about it. I could have had $15,000. I'm only at $500 right now. Well, I need to get at least $1,000 and your voice, or it, for me, for me, like I said, I'm not saying this will be for you. The overall core point here though is you gotta be the golden rule. You gotta be self-aware. How do you tend to act? What are your habits in certain situations? And there are a lot of different situations. Again, this wasn't even a losing trade. Now when you, and I've done plenty of videos on this in the past too, when you have losing trades, then that's another area of self-awareness where you need to be, you know, understand yourself. But in some situations, as was the case here, I actually had a winning trade, yet I still had to say, you know what? Stop trading, Clay. You're, you're, you're done for the day. Walk away after a winning trade. And maybe you're saying, Clay, I don't have that problem. You're being very dramatic. And you know what? Good, good. I'm jealous of you. I, I don't have any problem admitting that I'm very jealous of you. But for me, that's just not how my mind works. My mind works, and again, this is through experience. This is just through that golden rule. Be self-aware, be honest with yourself, but the way my mind works, no, I was just way too upset and I just was not mentally capable of trading in a, in a wise and logical way. So sometimes, you know what, the best thing you can do for yourself is just stop trading, just be done. But how do you get to that point? How do you know when to be done? How do you know when you should just walk away? You gotta be self-aware. Self-awareness is crucial. It truly is a golden rule for us as traders because if you're not being self-aware and not being honest with yourself, you can potentially put yourself in a very, very bad situations. And once again, I get it, it may be, makes me sound very dramatic, but this was all after even a winning trade. But you gotta be self-aware. You always have to be self-analyzing yourself so you understand how your mind works, how your emotions work in different situations. And if you've never traded with real money before, this may seem kind of bizarre, but I assure you, once you put real money in the market, you will realize just how psychological and how emotional of a business this trading is. And it doesn't matter, what, like I said at the start, if you're trading stocks or options or futures or crypto or anything like that, when you have money on the line and that money is fluctuating, 
it creates a whole bunch of situations. So just keep that in mind. Be self-aware in all instances. Understand your habits. Understand your tendencies with whatever given circumstance there is. So if you enjoyed this video, a few things here. First, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. And let me know in the comment section, have you been here before where you have a winning trade, but then something happens where in hindsight you look back and say, oh, and like I said, not necessarily that you broke any rules, but you just, you didn't play it the way in hindsight you should have played it. And you sit there and say, wow, you know, I, I made money, but, uh, and you feel that emotion. I mean, have you been there before? Let me know in the comment section or just let me know what sort of situations do you have where you know that you need to just stop trading? Because like I said, that is actually a, a sign of a very, uh, you know, a self-aware trader, and that's where it all starts. So, I mean, let me know in the comment section. I'm always curious where are people's different thresholds so for when they need to stop trading. And then also, besides hitting the like button and let me know in the comment section, please subscribe to the channel. Of course, check it out. Make sure you, you, you enjoy what you see. I'm not a big fan of when people are like, hey, I know you've been watching my video for 10 seconds, but hit the subscribe button. It's like, uh, but so I'm not gonna ask you per se to subscribe right this second, but at least check out the channel. See if there's other uh, you know content that you find valuable. And if you do like it though, then I will ask you to hit that subscribe button. And then finally, if you're interested in trading alongside me and other traders, I brought up that whole alert that I made on BYND. Uh, so if you wanna join that community, there's a live chat room. I send out weekly newsletters for my personal scans and all that. Uh, and you can just go more details at claytrader.com forward slash team. And, and that was kind of the, that was the silver lining is, yeah, I, I really kind of butchered, I really kind of screwed up, chose the wrong strategy for that alert that I made. But there are a lot of members in the community that did very, very well on it. So that makes it a little bit easier to, to swallow. And I was like, well, at least other people made a whole lot more money on it than I did. But like I said, if you wanna uh, join that community or at least learn more, claytrader.com forward slash team. So thank you for hanging out. But if nothing else, like I said, please hit that like button, leave a comment down below. And then ultimately, if you like what you see on the channel, please subscribe. So thanks for hanging out and hopefully this helps. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.